So this was the first chess game played in the Queen's Gambit, the Netflix show. Beth was playing black and the custodian was playing white. The opening played was the standard king's pawn opening. This opening is played a lot in games because you grab a hold of the center and you give your bishop diagonal a place to develop. Now this next move that the custodian played as white is not always a standard opening, but he moved his bishop up here. Why would you move your bishop there? Because you're already targeting this pawn right here. This pawn is the weakest pawn in the game starting position because its only defender is the king. Beth, unaware of the opening trap, develops a knight. Now oftentimes you'll see the black develop the other knight because it can attack this pawn which currently is hanging. There's no defender. But in this game, Beth against the custodian, she goes here. So now the custodian springs the second part of his trap by developing the queen. Normally, you don't want to move your queen in the beginning of the game because there's so many pieces on the board that it's easy for the queen to accidentally get captured. But notice what the custodian's doing. Look at this pawn right here. Since we already know that this pawn only has one defender, but now it's got two attackers, the queen and the bishop. Beth, who is unaware of this imminent mate, decides to develop her knight. And why would she do that? Because in her mind, she's got an attack on the queen. And if she can go here, this would be a fork. It would be an attack. It would be a check. It would also be attack on the rook, which is stuck. But the trap is sprung, and it's too late for Beth. This right here is a checkmate. This is called the scholar's mate, and it's one of the quickest opening traps you could learn. The queen is being protected by the bishop, and the only defense to that square is the king, and the queen is checking the king. This is a checkmate. Later that night, when Beth was thinking about this game, she figured out this move that she could have done. This move advances the pawn, giving it three protectors, one here, one here, and one here. Another common defense against the scholar's mate is to put the knight on the rim now that's probably the weakest defense, but it does give this weak pawn square another defender. There's a third option that many people play. It's just to ignore this, because if you develop your knight here, you block the queen's advance. And of course, thinking back, when you see this bishop come out, there is a chance there's a fried liver or a scholar's mate coming up. So some players will proactively go here. Both, you're now attacking and you're also defending this vulnerable square. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this little exploration into the Scholar's Mate. Let me know, have you ever played the Scholar's Mate? Have you ever defended against the Scholar's Mate? And have you seen the Queen's Gambit? What's called the Scholar's Mate?